I saw images of my wife and other men's body parts and videos of them doing unmentionable things in the new SUV I had just purchased for her six months before. Can you imagine getting to the point where you've been with your wife for 20 years and you find out that she's been with seven other men during your time together that you know of so far? This story today really makes me despair because you can get to a point where you recognize, you tell yourself this story, right? Won't happen to me, not me, not me and my partner, not me and my wife. I remember when I was little and uh, I used to hear, I first learned about divorce, first learned about divorce. And I was like, what? It was like my friend, friend at school, I think his name like Andrew or something. Your parents are getting a divorce? And you have this idea in your head, well, yeah, I'm not my mum and dad. My mum and dad are made for each other. That's the innocent blue pill. That's the ignorance, right? When I was 12 though, yeah, they got divorced. Same kind of blue pill understanding. You can be with your wife for 20 years, the love of your life. You think you have it set. And then you find evidence on a phone that she's been with seven other dudes. It makes me despair about the constitute of marriage and the nature of female dynamics. Let's go through the story, gentlemen. Wife of 20 years has various affairs. I found out by accident in the month of October 2022. My soon-to-be ex-wife had broken her iPhone and asked me for a new one. I had just bought eight months before and I told her we had a warranty to use our business phone for now. Our shop was closed for the season. I sent, I sent her out, uh, sent her phone out and she received her new phone approximately two weeks later. Apologies for the paragraphs in here, guys. This is, as a writer, painful. Uh, so, um, so I landed a new job in Anaheim. Sounds like a um, Scandinavian or like a Viking town in January 2022. And with a three to four hour travel time and being it was a full time position and a dream job for me personally. Uh, again, the only downfall was uh, being on the road while working. Mm, I'm starting to see where the gaps are going to come in here, where there's going to be opportunity for uh, but the other. We owned our home, so relocation was not an option. I noticed she was getting upset with me more and more as the weeks trickled by. She has asked for space when I would ask, is everything okay? She's having a hard time finding a job and I thought the stress was getting to her. I always have her space or given her space when she wanted it. We decided when our children were born, she could stay at home raising our wonderful children and she did. Now, I broke my phone at the end of September 2022. I sent my phone for replacement and decided to use the business phone for a temporary as well. So this is the phone that she was using, right? I found the phone on her nightstand. I charged the phone and I found various text messages from people I did not recognize. This is what happens when you, uh, I believe it's the SD card. What is that for cameras? Your phone card, your SIM card, when you change it, the, the, the um, number carries over. I opened the text messages and felt like someone punched me in the chest. I started to hyperventilate and I felt like my world collapsed. I saw images of my wife and other men's body parts and videos of them doing unmentionable things in the new SUV I had just purchased for her six months before. I read detailed messages to her co-workers and friends of hers, detailing her experiences with these men. Seven different men I found on our business phone. She also had the apps, Tinder, and Ashley Madison on the phone. She's bragging about this to her friends, to her co-workers. Damn. I went to a very dark place. I'm not surprised, brother. 
I am trying to move on, but the images I saw along with the videos of the Ds have been etched into my brain. What kind of uh, records this shit, man? You know how I feel about pornography. I'm trying to move on, images etched in your brain. I've been told by family that keeping a journal will help the healing process, so here I start. There is so much more I found out that I haven't lost, uh, that I've lost all trust in people. Mm, that is suggesting that I might be people that he knows about. It typically is, orbiters, you call them. People who are generally in and around your wife's orbit, maybe your social circle will be the individuals that she is becoming emotionally attached to and therefore more likely to uh, engage in infidelity. Infidelity. You know what I mean. <sighs> more to ask and to tell, but for now I must stop. I am currently set to see a... I hope that's a psychologist. Um... <laughs> In a couple of days, thanks for listening. More to write soon. We'll go through the comments in just a moment. So, hmm. This makes me despair. It also tells you a lot, though, about female nature and protecting yourself as a man. You hear the red pill rhetoric, it makes no sense financially for you to sign a contract that the individual has an incentive breaking it on the other side of the table that's marriage in this point here going through divorce those hungry lawyers will be uh, insisting that she takes a cut of his wealth as well because it sounds like she's living a very comfortable life, living at home. She's probably not got any money. She's getting her SUV bought for her and she's getting her back blown out by seven different men in the SUV, recording it, making a little video at the same time. You can tell what kind of woman this is. She ain't going to go quietly. She's going to take your money. And what did the courts favor? They don't favor us. And here's the thing as well that I realized the other day. By the way, it isn't 50%. It's more like 60% because the lawyers get a cut as well. The lawyers want you guys to divorce. They want you to break up. They don't want your marriage to work because they want your money, honey. That's what they want. So, of course, they're going to encourage this. It's very easy for me to say these things from an outsider looking into this relationship. But women are emotive. I always like to try and find a window where there's some opportunity for responsibility on the man's behalf. But it's hard to in this case. Seven different guys. With videos as well. This is... This is where men go to tall buildings. I'm just going to go through the comments here, see what the advice is. Sorry for you, my guy. The main goal when you go through this much turmoil is to reach a stable state, I agree. Which means living in your own place, yep, having a job and custody, plan for your kids. Keep yourself busy. But first, contact a lawyer, get tested for STDs. Oh, betcha you should be tested for STDs. Sorry to say it, but you might need to DNA test your kids. Don't be nice to her, limit contact to the minimum, don't lie to protect her. Right now, your goal is to protect yourself, your future, your family. Mm. Mm. A lot of guys can start to think this is their fault and will try and appease or make excuses for her behavior and get through it. Why? Encouraging bad behavior. This is really a stunning story. I'd be interested to get your guys' perspective on here. If this was your if this was your friend, what do you tell him to do? What's the advice you give to him? This is why this individual is never going to marry again. Is never going to put in a, him in a position where he can be vulnerable, where somebody can fucking cut the heart out. I like the idea of marriage. I like the idea in uh, monogamy, 
when you hear shit like this, it scares the shit out of you. Ah. These aren't uh, theories, gentlemen. I think these are these are facts here that we really need to consider our mental, emotional and financial health. And just because you can think you know somebody for 20 years doesn't mean you know shit about them. I mean, does anybody really know anyone? And that's why I end on. Take care.